Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Can play a video series, but he's able to do for a while. I'll go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This seems like an oddly timed one, but then we just keep pushing the calendar up anyway, so what the fuck ever. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Awesome doing all that. I'm inside the truck. While I'm doing that, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when those two things coincide, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today because I went over there, I got off work, decided to go to 7-Eleven, and I was like, I'm at 7-Eleven. Woo! It's my 7-Eleven woo. And, you know, I'm just moseying around. I'm not trying to get, you know, I'm not trying to review anything. But there's just stuff, man. There's just stuff. And I actually, if some of you might have noticed, uh, I don't know if I'll still be doing it by the time I upload this particular video, but I had a run there where I was uploading, usually I upload two videos a day. I was doing three, even four some days because I actually had so many videos backlogged on my phone that it got to a point where my phone was like, no, you can't fucking record anything anymore. So you need to get rid of some of this shit. I had a concert coming up and shit, so I'm like, oh, no, 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 just fucking take all of them. I don't care, whatever. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what happened at the 7-Eleven. And while I was waltzing around, I found something, and it was just like, all right, I guess. Especially because I just reviewed another one of their things. So what is it that I'm reviewing for you? Why does it seem out of place? Well, folks, because we're doing... Boom! It's Lenny and Larry's. Ha 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 ha. Can we get a thing? Ha 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 ha. Lenny and Larry's plant based protein, the complete cookie. 16 grams of protein per cookie. This is their holiday recipe cookie. You can see it. Look at it. It's got snowflakes. And it's not the time I'm doing this, it's early October. You know, we joke about the fact that, like, Thanksgiving's kind of been, you know, basically supplanted by Christmas. Now Christmas is trying to take over Halloween, and I will not stand for that. Thanksgiving I'll kind of give you, because it's like, all right, whatever. It's already kind of a similar sort of holiday. Fuck you if you're trying to go over there and take... See, they lured us in with that Nightmare Before Christmas shit. And now they're just trying to squeak it in there a little bit. No, fuck you, Lenny and Larry. I won't let you have it, but I will review your cookie. I've reviewed one of their cookies before. Uh, I did their strawberry shortcake cookie. And, yeah, it's a plant-based thing. It's supposed to be, I guess, sort of like a, you know, healthy alternative version. Thing is, they call it a holiday recipe, but then that doesn't mean anything. Oh, wait, there it is. I was wrong. It says caramel apple. What the fuck does caramel apple have to do with, like, Christmas and snowflakes? I mean, you could argue caramel apple has to do with, like, uh, Halloween, for sure. That's kind of a thing. I could give you that. But that's not what they're going for here. They're going, clearly, for, like, a Christmassy thing. Alright, whatever. Let's give it a go. I want to eat this one because it's... Eh, I don't want to fucking forget it out in my car. Sometimes I do that. For some foods, it doesn't matter. But then, every now and again, I had some Twinkies that basically went real bad as a result of that. It's so dense. I'm wondering if the... Because it's kind of cold at the time I'm doing this. It's about 45 degrees outside. Let's give it a go. It has the exact same texture as the other one. <laughs> Seems like no matter, pretty much no matter how they put these things together, texture-wise, it's going to be the same thing. What's the texture like? It's very dense and very dry. It is not a moist cookie. But, I will say, it's not like stale or anything, so. But man, is it dry. 
Um, I will say there is like a little bit of a candy apple kind of thing to it. You can taste like an apple aspect. It's got that kind of, because if you're going to do caramel apples, you got to use green apples, you know. You want the contrasting sweet and, uh, sweet and sour. So the apple aspect, it does have like a little bit of a green apple kind of bite to it. Not much, but it's there. And then, yeah, I mean, it's a sweet cookie. Yeah, okay. I'll kind of give it to them. I mean, it's not terrible. But the problem, well, okay. When it comes to products like this, I try to be as fair as possible because I fully understand that I'm not the audience for this. This is already being marketed <clears throat> towards people who are already going to be mindful of the plant-based stuff and all the things. I fully appreciate that. So I try to review it as objectively as possible because I feel like that's only fair. I have to review it from the perspective of somebody who is walking into a 7-Eleven or where the fuck ever, going over there and saying, hmm, that looks interesting, knowing nothing about it, and just wanting to try a tasty cookie. That is what I'm trying to do here. So, there are certain things that I have to go off of. The most obvious one is taste. Taste of the cookie isn't bad. I wouldn't consider a particularly spectacular cookie, but it's okay. And like I said, I can understand what they're trying to do with the flavors, even if I don't understand why they're calling it a holiday flavor. But okay. See, like, they wanted it to be a holiday. Why wouldn't they just do, like, gingerbread? That would have made more sense to me. I, I think they kind of got confused on this one, personally. Um, but yeah, the flavor of the cookie isn't terrible. Then I have to kind of move on to, all right, well, you've got, like, the more tangible stuff, like the texture and just the chewability and stuff. The texture isn't my favorite. It's, it's kind of like if you've ever been to, like, a Chinese food place, not the fortune cookies, but sometimes you get, like, those circular sugar cookies that they have. It reminds me a little bit of that, but whereas those kind of break apart, you know, like, and then they're kind of, you know, nice and, and tasty, this... It's so dense and so dry that it's like, I mean, maybe it would work better with like some milk or something, but then it's like, well, it's already a plant-based thing, right? So like, I mean, I guess you could put in some almond milk or some shit like that. You know, maybe that would work perfectly in, uh, in tandem with it. But as a cookie just by itself, it's like, you really have to have something to drink with this thing. It's just, it's so dry. Um... Like I said, the texture is just, it's not, it's not the texture of a great cookie. As far as anything else is concerned, I mean, it's not horrible by any means, but it's just, it's like, is it a particularly, like, is it a good plant-based cookie? I don't know. I don't typically eat plant-based cookies. I have to view it from the perspective of, is it a good cookie? Is it a good cookie? The flavor is okay, but it's really not all that great in terms of the texture and, you know, just how dry it is and stuff, that really diminishes it. And it's not like the, you know, the flavor is particularly great. It's decent. So, yeah. I mean, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No, and kind of. For me, with the Complete Cookie stuff, again, I'm not the market for it. I fully accept that, you know. I just try to give these things a shot just to basically be like, hey, you know, again, if you're just somebody like me who you like to try new stuff, hopefully this information will be useful to you. Although chances are, if you're like me, you're not watching my channel. You're just doing it. But who knows? Um, yeah, there's just not a lot of point for me. It's not a bad cookie, but it's like I, I would just get normal cookies. I don't care if they're plant-based or not. You know, as long as it tastes good, I'm going to go with it. But that ties into whether or not I would recommend it, kind of. If you were just average McGee person who wants a tasty cookie, mm, mm, probably not. You could get better cookies. 
I'm not saying that they're going to be as good for you or not, because I'm not a fucking food scientist, so do your own research. But if you are somebody who is already of the mindset, like the audience that they're catering to with this, then sure. I mean, I'm sure you already kind of know going in what to, what to expect. And to that regard, it's not a bad cookie in that light. Like, it is tasty enough. I honestly probably prefer it over the strawberry shortcake one. If it were a more conventional cookie, I would probably like it. As is, I'm okay with it. I'll certainly finish it. It's not bad, but it's also not really for me. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Money meant rest of the month. Spend as rest of your folks. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly non-confusing, holiday-tastic rest of your life. Like, it's let's just keep it separate, folks. I think we can do that. I think every, you know, I think those holidays, you know, your your uh, uh, your Halloween, your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, you know, if you live in the United States anyway, I, they, we like, let's keep them separate. They don't need to be, you know, all the things. Don't need to be all the things. Uh, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not as possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But. What do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. It can be a absolute son of a bitch. Just trying to do your day-to-day -day stuff. Trust me, folks. I am, like, one of the most, like, drama-free people that you can meet. I just try to do my thing and just chill the fuck out. And even then, I always seem to get roped into bullshit somehow. I can only imagine what it's like for people who are, like, more active and, like, do things. And so, Folks, I don't even know fucking my, like, I couldn't tell you my neighbor's names or anything. It's like, because I just, I don't, you know, nothing against them. They're fine people, I'm sure. But I don't care. I just live near them. I don't want to get involved in their business. Just do my own thing. Uh, but anyway, it is important when we run into situations in our life that are stressful, frustrating, etc. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe, damn it, you are going to be like me and you're going to be like, we have to go over there and march on the Capitol. We have to go over there and make it sure that people know that, damn it, holidays are separate and that Christmas is not just all the time. Okay? I do not want to go over there and be 84 years old not that I'll live that long, I'm pretty sure, but, <laughs> but I do not want to go over there and be 84 years old, and it's just like, okay, it's January 1st, that's the first day of Christmas, and then it's just Christmas all year long. As a kid, I liked Christmas, and I'm not trying to shit on Christmas, it's a great holiday in its own regard, it kind of sucks a little bit older when you, you know, or sucks when you get a little bit older, because, you know, when you're a little People just give you shit. When you're older, you're expected to get shit for people. And yes, giving is the thing and all this stuff. It also costs fucking money. So, <sighs> we'll make it happen, folks. I believe in us. I think, if not my generation, then certainly the younger generation. I have so much faith in them. They People like to shit on the newer generations and stuff. It's like, burr, 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 burr. you don't know how to use an old-timey can over it. It's like, shut up. First of all, if you're going to make that argument, churn butter right now in front of me. I need you to churn butter. And I need you to change a wagon wheel. Shut up with your stupid nonsense. Oh, you kids today don't know cursive. Yeah, it's because it's useless. I'm 37 years old. Last time I used cursive in any regard was back in fucking middle school. Other than signing my signature. Which, by the way, doesn't have to be in cursive. Anybody who tells you that, that's full of shit. You can put, like, an X. They don't care. As long as it's your signature mark. Anyway, I just went on a weird rant. Bye!